website. Maybe you're thinking about having your first one made, or maybe you just need a new, better one. In any case, you should know at least some of the basics about web design. And no worries, it will only take three minutes. First of all, let's face it, a website is the core of your online marketing activities. If you look at all the marketing channels and techniques, what they actually do is bring visitors to your website. And the main purpose of a website is turning these visitors into customers. In marketing terms, this is called conversion. A bad website will basically cause you to waste money on other marketing methods because you don't need more visitors if you can't turn them into customers. So the better your website is, the more visitors are converted into your customers. And it doesn't really matter whether you sell consumer products online, provide local services, or build houses. Many people in the industry call themselves web designers, but they really are just a bunch of geeks with some basic coding knowledge. Of course, without much planning, they will pretty quickly create a website for you with lots of information, photos, contacts. But the question is, is that the way to turn the visitors into your customers? Is that what you need? And the answer is simple, no. What you have to do is look for someone serious about web design. Well, that's where we come in. This is how we make websites, by following this seven phase web design process. Phase one, analysis. The first step is always about information gathering, identifying things like the website purpose, goals, and target audience. Phase two, planning. A plan includes a definition of the sitemap, structure, and technologies that we're about to use. Phase three, design. Not only do we focus on wireframe models and the visual style in this stage, but also on the usability of the user interface for the best possible user experience. Phase four, content. A very important part of the process is choosing the right text, photos, or videos, all optimized not only for your visitors, but also for search engines. Phase five, development. Here, we actually create the website using the hypertext markup language and cascading style sheets with some help from databases and other technologies as well. If needed, our websites can be made accessible to mobile devices too. Phase six, testing. We test all the technical features like code and scripts, compatibility with major browsers, but we also ask ourselves if the website really fulfills its purpose. Phase seven, deployment. After we launch the site, our job is definitely not done yet. We always monitor what's happening after the start, enabling us to fix any possible deficiencies. And if you want, we can also manage the future maintenance and updates for you. As you have just seen, web design is a very complex process, but we believe this is how websites should be done, and our customers agree. And if you share our passion for high-quality websites, let's get in touch. We'll be happy to help you with what we do best.